Morning. How are we doing, fellas? Like today is going to be very busy. Um, we've got a lot of plowing and drilling to do, if we can. But we've also got the new feed turning up. So I need to build the rest of the clamp. We need to get the sheets up on it. We have got a load here already. Um, and you'll get to see what that is very soon. I've been keeping it a bit of a secret. But um, you'll find out it's steaming at the minute. That's what it is. Right, stay tuned. Andy will be busy on his 155M today, plowing. I don't think we'll have the power hour, but M might well be on the rollers. Um, so we got another load turned up um, of this feed that's hot. I'll tell you what it is in a bit. Oh, Andy's here as well. We have to start building the clamp, I think. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh no, don't say, don't say. It's a secret. Yeah, they've just turned up with it. So we... Oh, because my dad told them to where to tip it. So. Right, here we go. Right, we'll get the sheets on, I think, Andy. First thing. Look at that, steaming out of there. What is it though? What is it? That's still steaming from earlier this morning. But well, I'm getting the bales in place. Andy's setting the um, setting the sheet up with them. I'm just doubling up these bales just to give one bit more stability while we're um, while we're on the clamp. And um, two because they're in my way. So um, yeah. We'll fetch this out a bit more. Em and Andy are just doing the back sheet now. And, uh, and then we need to get some cattle fed at some point. If it gets to, it gets to nine o'clock, we'll have to be straight on feeding cattle and give this job a rest. So they're just getting the back sheet on now. If you can see, because of the sun. Then we get it on this side. Jobs are good on. So this is the back of the sheet now. We're just getting it right. Trying to stop the barley from growing. So there we have it. And that's gonna get filled with that stuff that I've not told you about. Over the next few days. I hope it all comes today really, but you never know. Now I've got the spreader bale on the nine meter. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow straw all in here. So um, we've got like a sacrificial layer then. Uh, because it is onto the tarmac, um, when we're going to scrape it up, we'll have the straw on the bottom just to, yeah, just so that we're not scraping the tarmac up. Hopefully, well, that's the plan anyway. We just thought it might be a good idea. Um, so we're gonna try it. So yeah, that's the plan now. And there we have it. So that should sort it. Bit of layer on the bottom. And right now, I'm gonna jump in the lorry. We've got a load of cattle to take. So I'll just get these guys loaded up. And I am off. So take these cows, fill it up with diesel. Jobs are good. Well, I'm stuck here waiting to unload. Um, doesn't happen very often in our industry, this. So I don't know if they've had a breakdown or what's happened. But um, yeah, lorry drivers, I feel your pain just having to wait all the time. I mean, some people enjoy it, don't they? Like, oh, I get to wait for so many hours. I can't do it. I want to be doing something all the time. I'll be busy. Um, and I've got a lot of stuff to do. Because ah, I've got, I'm going away tomorrow. I'll tell you about that in a bit. Um, well, I'll tell you about it now. I've got plenty of time on my hands. Um, AHDB, um, there's going to be me, Tom Pemberton, Ollie Bloggs, Charlotte Ashley, Georgina Summer. Um, I think it is it Rebecca from Boots and Heels. And I'm probably going to forget somebody. But um, there's a lot of us anyway. I, I'm, I'm sorry if I forgot somebody. I apologise. But it's going to be we're going to be chatting about farming stuff, and um, from what we've been talking about in the WhatsApp and stuff, it should be quite interesting. I think it'll be um, yeah. It shouldn't it shouldn't be too highbrow. I think it's just going to be like entertaining chat about the different things that affect us in farming. I suppose. Um, 
and with the characters that are in it, um, I feel privileged to, to, to be in, included in it. Um, yeah, look out for that. It's eight o'clock tomorrow night. It's going to be live from, and then who knows? We might even do something after it um, if we go to a bar or a pub or something. So yeah, check that out. It should be interesting. So diesel is still expensive. My good deed for day. I filled this uh, black car at the side of me, an old lady. Um, she uh, she was struggling to get the fuel in the car, so I just done it for her. Um, I've had to move pumps because they only put um, 100 litres in these little pumps. So I've had to move on to the HGV one now so we can fill it up proper. This is thing why she called me a young lad. <laughs> Isn't it? I think that's a bad enough fuel bill. I've also got that one to add on as well. Because the little pumps only dispense 100 litres and then they stop. Stop fuel theft, I think it is. Back in the yard now, looks like we're uh, sorting out some of that stuff. I'll let you know what it is in a minute. We'll have a look at it. So, I wonder if anybody's worked it out yet. I'm gonna tell you anyway, but it's uh, a byproduct from the manufacture of sugar. So the sugar beet gets all like ground up, they extract the sugar from it, and then you get left with this stuff, which I'm guessing is called like sugar beet pulp. There it is. And it's very hot, isn't it, Em? They must boil it or something, cause like, literally, when you, well, you see it with the JCB, just the steam's all just comes out of it, doesn't it? Red hot. And you get this stuff. And it does it does compress together quite well, doesn't it? So that's what we're doing with the clamp. We're putting it in, we're rolling it, getting it pressed down, and then we're gonna seal it with the sheets. Business. I'm not my dinner because I'm gonna go drilling. You're gonna go rolling in a bit, aren't you? You excited about that? You look really excited, Em. You look really, really excited. Yeah? Ecstatic, brilliant. She's ecstatic. Off the first market, and did I say Andy's coming back? Yeah, he's power hourin' in front of me um, where I'm gonna be drilling. He's coming back then to roll that pit and get all that job sorted, while M goes to roll the fields that I'll be drilling, or that I have drilled. And then I'm gonna drop the drill off and then I'm gonna spray. Oh, it's gonna be a busy day. I'm back, filling up with seed. And um, get off and drill this field. Andy's just finished power harrowing it, by the sound of it. Get his done. So I've just got to the field now. Um, this is what Andy was power harrowing for me. So this side is what I did last night, a few runs. And um, this side is where Andy's been. And this is a little bit of ploughing. that He's just left as a visual, I think, for me. And just to make sure he didn't run into it. And we'll start going up and down in here. See how we get on. A bit of a boo-boo in the lower field last night. I got out and I checked thinking the seed on top, why is this? And anyway, I couldn't see any issues. And um, carried on, carried on, and then um, I looked, and it was two of my cutters were bunged up right on the very end. Like, you, they were inside, you couldn't, I should have checked, but I couldn't see, I could see the seed on top though, so I should have known, but I just must have been tired. And um, yeah, I'm not sure how far of that field I've done with two bunged cult cutters. Um, so anyway, Em's going to come down here and roll it. The seed is definitely there because it's on the top. Um, so it's just whether or not when she rolls it, it just presses it in that, that bit twice. My mistake. That's what I'm clinging to anyway. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> I, I might as well tell you now because like when it gets to summer and spring and you're like, and I'm like in that field and there's like little lines everywhere, people will be like, uh, I remember who drilled that field, it would show. So yeah, we'll just have to look into that a little bit later. I'm just doing the outside of this field now. And I don't know if you can see in the distance. But that's him rolling the field. So she's already done one of them. She's on to the second one now and then she'll come and finish off in here. And then I'll get this finished. 
get the sprayer put on the back of here rather than the drill and I'll come and spray all these fields then hopefully before it rains hopefully there it is Ah, this ain't cool. So um, I press the button for it to lift up on the HMS. It's not done, so I've, I've reversed a little bit. As I've turned around as I'm coming back, it's still in the ground. So literally every single coulter is bunged up because it's gone backwards in the ground. They're not designed to go backwards in the ground. Just, well, I've not got much left to do with this field. Now I've got all this to do but at least I've spotted it now and it's not, the pipes aren't bunged up with seed and we've misdrilled anyway, because that would be a nightmare, a bit like yesterday's nightmare really. But um, yeah, so right now I'm gonna go along bup, 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 and get all the soil out of these. What an idiot. That's it, they're all unbunged, apart from, there was one that didn't have any soil in it, just the one. And you see it, there's not much seed on floor. So I didn't go anywhere, I just literally just went and then I was like, oh, damn. Uh, so yeah, that's that all sorted now anyway. We can get back on with doing the last few runs around the field and uh, jobs are good in. Apart from I've got a leak at the back of my tractor. Oh. Jesus. I think it's this ball valve this was in. So I'm guessing I've got a leak on my markers somewhere. Uh, I'll just not use that one now. Fantastic. Oil's expensive as well. Diesel's expensive. I've ordered some diesel today. Absolute fortune. 113 and a half pence, I think it was. For a red diesel. Yes, a lot of money. Back to the farm now. We've dropped the drill off. I'm just inspecting the back of the tractor here. It's very oily. And it looks like it might be leaking from the top where you um, can alter the spool valve into constant pumping and what have you. Looks like it's coming from there. But um, when I'm using the sprayer, I always use a second valve. So it's just going to have to do for now. And we'll look at that um, soon. I need to get the spraying done. But Andy's just having a bit of fun rolling this stuff in. The 210, because the... Um, TM's been sinking in a bit. Going down, in it? Stressful. Yeah. Stressful. Yeah. Why? The lorries can't tip because they just spin up. Hmm. And then belly handler sinks. What can't you get that like? I don't know. Bucket it in, and then. You end up gripping the floor. You need to leave a bit there, don't you? Yeah, but. Well, it just sinks. Oh. Ah. Yeah. It's fairly hard, though, this. Yeah. Feels it. Come out spraying, and our neighbours are drilling next door and ploughing. My looks of it. Power hour combination. It's an Amazon one, but a bit different to ours, but same, same. The plough down there. They're not ploughing using a Watkins tri till. Similar to what we've got. That looks nice, that John Deere. Tidy. Oh, we've got the sprayer filled up, haven't we, Em? Job done. Um, I've got to go and put this out. These guys have are you about finished. Yeah, so. Feeding up done. M's rolled this field that we're going to be going to next. Um, it's quite tidy. Oh, good. I like we that. All are. We good. All are. I'm quite impressed with myself. Good. Good. I like that. Um, and yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to be in in the morning, and then in the afternoon, I'm going to be off to um, Stormley Park. Business. 
it's time for mixer mentions from the sprayer tractor. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not going to get time to put it on the mixer, so I'm just going to get it done from here. And um, yeah, then I can get off tomorrow at uh, a reasonable time. Uh, right, so we've got uh, rest in peace to Andy Detweiler, thoughts with his family from the Spillers. Um, he's a he's a, an American YouTuber who sadly passed away in the in the last few days. Um, the Harmless Farmers. If everyone wants to check um, check his channel out, check it out on that. It's a happy birthday though. Happy happy birthday to Isaac Barton uh, from your mum and dad, uh, brother and sister. Four today, four. Just everything was excited into any four tractors, cows, all our business. So um, I hope you enjoy watching the videos. Thanks for donating to the Yorkshire Ambulance. Absolutely fantastic. Thirteen hundred, nearly fourteen hundred pound, I think now. So um, yeah, fantastic guys. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, I think this is where I'm going to end it because otherwise it's going to get really, really late because I've got to do this spraying and I've still got to edit the video. So. Um, thanks everyone for watching make sure you check out tomorrow that eight o'clock live um from uh from ahdb when we're doing that live it will be fantastic and it'd be really nice if you could watch it um on my live or whatever and then they might want to invite me back to do other things like that because it's really nice to get breaks away from the farm i love doing this i really love doing this like spraying drilling all that kind of thing fantastic but it's really nice to get out there and try something different sometimes you know every now every once in a while so um yeah i'm really looking forward to it it should be fun um especially like because ollie and tom and um, a few other people that i know are going to be there it's just gonna be fun so yeah check it out thanks guys see you tomorrow bye